horrendous and despicable. That's how the prosecutors described the murder of this 13-year-old girl. She was murdered, set on fire, all because of a drug debt her father owed the killer. And today, that killer pleaded guilty and found out he'll spend the rest of his life in prison with no shot at parole. It's news that leaves the murder teen's sister with mixed emotions. I wish he would have had a harder sentence, but honestly, I don't think that any sentence is really going to change. Tonight, News 5's Amanda Van Allen is live in the Tech Center with that sister's reaction to the conclusion of this case. Amanda? Today, Dan Rob, this case was devastating. On top of losing her sister, Bria Robinson lost her mother and says her relationship with her stepfather is beyond repair. Whenever she talks about her little sister, Bria Robinson lights up. She was like always under my wing, always with me, all the time. She was probably one of the smartest people I've ever met. But she quickly snaps back to reality and realizes she'll never see little Kara Zancheski again. All I heard them say was that they found a body in the woods and I collapsed. Kara was killed when she was just 13 years old. John Bove murdered her, then set her body on fire in May of 2017. I feel like it could have all been prevented. I feel like the whole situation just should have never happened. Robinson is talking about her stepfather's involvement in Kara's death. Her stepdad owed Bove a $3,000 drug debt. Bove says he planned to return Kara safely after he got the money, but that never happened. He says he killed Kara, who would have turned on Sunday because he was high on crystal meth, and he'd taken more that day than ever before. Robinson blames her stepdad. I resent him for that, and a lot more I resent him for on top of that. Bove was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Robinson says she's relieved, but it doesn't help during those lonely nights when she's thinking about all her beautiful sister could have been. I know she definitely wanted to be a veterinarian. Her goal was to get like a bus and go across the country saving animals. And if the heartbreak of losing her sister wasn't enough, this family suffered even more after Kara's death. A month later, Robinson's mother took her own life. Tonight, Robinson says after all of that, she is relieved that Kara's killer will be locked up forever. Okay, so y'all just heard that story. And shout out to Craig J for sending me this particular story. Now, I don't even remember when this actually happened. It said it happened back in 2017. And apparently now some new information has since uh, come out about this particular story. Because according to this article that I'm reading, it says that he has avoided the death penalty. So the death penalty was on the table as one of the, uh, you know, uh, what was going to happen with him. I personally believe that this man definitely should have got the death penalty because he basically, what it sounds like to me is that because the stepdad owed a debt to this man, it sounds like he kidnapped this girl and took her to some abandoned place and you saw what they said you heard what they said they said he killed her and set her on fire now i won't be surprised if he probably raped this girl too because he took her to this undisclosed location they said he found her body in the woods and they took the death penalty off the table i can only think of two reasons as to why they did it one let's be obvious this is a white guy here we're talking about here they probably figure, oh, he's already getting life in prison without the possibility of parole. He doesn't need to suffer anymore. And number two, he was on the drug. Remember, they do not try to do any more to the drug user than more so the drug dealer. That means that if the stepdad is in jail right now, it's because he was the dealer. The only reason this guy's in jail right now is more so because of the murder. They probably didn't even bring him up on charges of being uh, under the influence of methamphetamine. I know it's, it's real weird and backwards how all of that even works. Like if you are using this drug, because if it was a black person back in the day, they would have thrown him, thrown him or her or them in that paddy wagon and hauled them off the jail. And they didn't even have to harm anybody. I mean, that was it. Yet this guy 
was mad because he was owed some money, did not get it, and he kidnapped this girl, probably molested or raped her, murdered her, and burned her body up, and threw her into the woods. The death penalty would have been the only option for me. The only option. But it is what it is. Even while he's on, why even while he's getting a life sentence, he still has the privilege because they, in my honest opinion, they were still lenient with his sentencing. But y'all let me know what you think about this down in the comments, like, share, subscribe. I will talk to you in the next one.